Finally tonight, a United States senator from Nevada has returned from a visit from our gulag at Guantanamo Bay, Cuba, insisted all those who entered there should abandon hope and be kept there forever, compared them to Charles Manson, even though they've been convicted of and often charged with nothing, and repeated all the other half-Republican, half-totalitarian talking points, rationalizing the repudiation of due process and the Constitution. And then... Senator John Ensign, having been hit by some sort of interstellar asteroid of honesty, added in one of the truest things ever said by man, that the detainees, quote, get better health care than the average American citizen does. Our number one story in the countdown, what the? The men we have locked up without charge or trial, some of whom have been tortured psychologically or physically, all of whom who have been at minimum traumatized, and at least some of whom, just by the laws of statistical probability, even the most rabid of right-wingers will admit this, at least some of whom must be innocent, and they've gotten better health care than the average American citizen. Torture at Gitmo, punishment at the drugstore. You certainly nailed that one, Senator. For the last eight years, the Republican Party has been far more concerned with breaking the health of the average Gitmo prisoner than it has been with improving the health of the average resident of this country. And no one, nowhere, at no time has boiled it down with the economy of words, the startling precision of John Ensign. The detainees get better health care than the average American citizen. The Bush administration and those Republicans now following it, like the guys with the brooms have to follow the parade of elephants, have turned this nation's priorities on their collective head. Throw out the rights we were born with and which we have assiduously granted even the worst of our enemies for 233 years and prevent the extension of the obvious, necessary, urgent right of every American to even just the bare minimum of health care. But no, if you argue for closing Gitmo, John Ensign and his pals will call you a Nazi appeaser. Then, if you argue against torturing people, they'll call you a fascist. If you demand prosecution of those who tortured, they'll call you un-American. They'll claim with the same level of insight and memorization available from a parrot that we only waterboarded people that planned the attacks on September 11th that killed 3,000 Americans. And then if you argue for better health care, they'll call you a socialist. Congratulations, you're a liberal, Nazi-appeasing, un-American, fascist socialist. Meanwhile, they will wrap themselves in the flag and insist they kept us safe. Senator Ensign, I've never heard this question asked, let alone answered before. Who exactly is the us in that sentence? The average American who, as you suddenly blurted out, is not getting health care as good as the guys at Gitmo? Is that the us you've protected? Or is it the various health care industries, the drug manufacturers, and the HMO chains, and the insurance industry, and the rest? Is that it, Senator? You made the world safe for pharmacy? Besides his Freudian slip, Senator Ensign said much else of note. The detainees, quote, are like having Charles Manson times whatever factor. These people are so dangerous. How do you know that, Senator? Your visit there lasted less than a day. Did you look into their souls while you were there? Were you briefed? And by the way, did anybody mention that we tried Charles Manson and he's still in prison? Evil, crazy, without any sense of the sanctity of life, trying to kill as many people as he could, and our quiet little quaint old justice system worked like a charm on him? It is permissible to hold people until the military conflict is over. Does anybody think this global war on terror is over? It's not even close. If these people get out, they're coming back to kill Americans. Sounds like you just defined these people as prisoners of war, Senator. Indefinite detention is legal, provided there is a formal declaration of war. But do you recall the Senate ever legally declaring war on anybody? I mean, you were there. You should have noticed. Oh, who am I kidding? Anyway, there it is in the proverbial nutshell. Nearly a decade's worth of twisting this country's heritage inside out, of doing half of what any terrorist could ever dream of doing to this country for them. Let's put this up on huge stone tablets like the Ten Commandments outside that courthouse in Alabama. Only these words would go outside the U.S. Senate and outside every CVS, Rite Aid, emergency room, and medical office building in the land. A statue of Senator John Ensign of Nevada. A contribution check from Big Pharma in one hand and a waterboard in the other. And his words beneath him because they certainly should have been beneath him. The detainees at Gitmo, they get better health care than the average American citizen does. What the? Let's count down for this, the 2,210th.